Good morning and welcome to another high-tech video Learn English with Philip. Today I have an idiom for you, actually a few idioms. An idiom that you can use when you're a bit annoyed. For example, next to where I live they're building a new block of flats and sometimes they're hammering away until late at night. Well that sometimes really annoys me. Well we have an idiom for that. Of course, English has an idiom for, for basically every situation. The idiom goes like this. When something really annoys you, you can say three things. The first is not really an idiom, but it's quite common. You may be able to guess. The second is definitely an idiom, as well as the third which has three words. Do you know any of these expressions? That means you are really annoyed, irritated. Well, the first one, the easiest one to remember, you can say, it drives me crazy. That noise, sweet Lord, please stop, drives me crazy. The second word, the idiom, is a fruit. Actually, it's not a fruit, it's a nut. Yeah, exactly. It drives me nuts. Can you hear the hammering? They're doing it right now. It drives me nuts. The third one is a part of your home. You have many of these. What can you see? Look around you. If you're sitting in your living room, look around you. What can you see? You have four of them, usually. Wall. Preposition article. You could say that something drives you up the wall. It really drives me up the wall that they're working until late at night and I have to get up in the morning. Or for example, you have an important exam tomorrow and your neighbor's playing music loudly until midnight or after midnight. You can say, it's driving me nuts. Please man, turn off that music. Drives me crazy, drives me nuts, it drives me up the wall. There you go. Three idioms. Actually, not really. Two idioms that you can use if you are very annoyed. I hope you enjoy them. I also hope you enjoy the last question of the day. It's vocabulary. Uh, what is a surgeon? If you know this word, okay, you, you, you know the answer. It, it, it's easy. If you know the word, of course, you're going to know the answer. But if you don't know the word, have a look at the four descriptions. Try to guess. If you want to know if you were right, have a look in the video description down below. If I don't forget, I'll put the correct answer down there. Okay, that's it for today. Questions, comments or suggestions can be left in the comments down below. I'll see what I can do. And I'll see you next video. Goodbye.